my sneaky Linux back and tonight we've got a quick look at Simplicity Linux 9.07 Windows Refugee Edition Alpha so it's still heavy work in progress and we have a quick look round so I've got my documents and Word and it's not actually Word is it? it's Abby Word so I'll give them a click she comes up nice and quick can't moan about that whatsoever it's 2.63 so that's a nice working one so that's cool We've got a few others on the desktop there. You've got little widgets there, etc. etc. Down on the menu, it's still puppy like, but looks a bit like XP. So, whether that helped the transition, we'll find out, won't we? Now, Ninja. Now, this is the Opera web browser, but it doesn't save any cookies, any cache, no nothing. So, as soon as you log out, there is nothing there. So, it's a secret or silent web browser. So, I'm have a quick look. Now I'm going to put the BBC in, I do this because it's a really heavy page. Lots of text, video, etc. As you can see, it's working nice and quick. Straight to the BBC. That was very quick, actually. As you can see, no smudging, nothing else using the Opera. Not too bad at all. So, what we'll do, we'll come out of there. See Conky on the right hand side, for wee bits and bobs. We'll go to the widget section. And basically, this is all the widgets open to Opera. Same as basically what they have in Firefox 2. But sometimes the Opera ones are a bit better, so to say. There's plenty to look at. There's stuff for Twitter, there's stuff for Facebook, etc. No problemo. Thunderbird there. Firefox 2. But it's not really Firefox, it's Bonico. So it's only a 2 series Firefox, as far as I'm aware. But remember, this is an alpha, so it's work in progress no a problemo. So lots and lots of things could change by the end of the release. So it tells you it's 2.007. That is quite an old one that one actually isn't it? But not a problem. We'll come out of there. Desktop's nice. Got Spotify there for streaming music. Free or pay. All depends what you want to do. It's all basic puppy really. There's a few bits and bobs there that I wouldn't use as some I would use. Not a problem uses AYTTM for the messaging client. It's not my favourite, I prefer Pigeon, but that's my personal opinion. But hey, it all could change in the end. Who knows? Just a quick look around this one, really. So anyway, on the whole, it's not looking too bad, is it? Don't you think? There's a few things that could be added, but there's like, a few things he's going to add that he said in his web page. But hey, Conky works. There's the problem of the swap not loading and Conky not working in Exvessa. I suppose that'll all be worked in the end. We'll have another look at this another time. Sneaky Linux out. <laughs>